So about a year ago, I was browsing one of my former favorite pastimes, and that's restaurant auctions or just auctions of equipment. There's always somebody trying to get rid of something that they don't know how to use or they don't really need. They bought it because somebody asked, made them buy it. So a Four Seasons hotel in Denver, Colorado had this dough divider and they listed it on auction. I ended up taking it home for only $800. It's worth a lot more than that. And I'll show you exactly why. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. So we're gonna make rolls. Normally the process of making rolls is quite simple. You cut this up into a bunch of little pieces and then you take those pieces and you roll them into rolls. Hence why a roll is a roll. This uh, R2D2, and I swear to God, the person who designed this must have thought of Star Wars because these trays look like Millennium Falcons. Tell me they don't. They look exactly like a Millennium Falcon. Look at the, look at the shape. And then this thing looks like R2D2. I'm not even a Star Wars guy, but I can appreciate the, the whimsy in the design. So this thing is a press, a divider, and a roller all in one. So a rounder, I should say, all in one. So I'm first going to press down. And then that dough is going to spread out. I'm going to dust the top of that dough some more, put it back in, switch this to the cutting side, and now I just cut 36 rolls. I'm going to turn the machine on, I think that helps. I'm going to pull this lever. And it's not perfect, but I've got a lot in here that I can basically immediately work with. I'm picking out the ones that need further attention from me, and I'm going to quickly roll these. Before you go out buying a dough divider, make sure you know how to do this by hand. It took a few rolls before I could roll with two hands. And I'm hoping that in rolling with two hands for you, you can see that in just jump straight to the, to the machinery. I do think that machines work best when you understand the underlying process that the machine is doing better than the machine does. Meaning if the machine breaks, you know what broke, you know why it broke, and you can begin to understand what you need to do to prevent it breaking again, because machines will break. So uh, if you're wondering whether you should buy a bunch of machinery for your new bakery that you're considering starting, I would say no. Um, buy it when you can afford it, meaning when you have the revenue from your bakery to buy the machine. And buy it only after you've actually done the process manually and painfully, because only then you'll understand why is a machine beneficial? And you'll have to start having conversations with yourself as to why you can't compete with the industrial bakery that's selling buns for 30 cents a piece. Uh, you just simply, when you do something by hand, you understand all that it takes to do it. When, when a machine does it for you, you only understand the portions that you already knew before the machine took over the role.